I'm going to show you how to get hundreds of thousands of dollars of value for free in Las Vegas using a strategy that really does not get that much attention. This is my favorite kind of video to do because it gives me the opportunity to deliver huge value. It's very helpful to you as a traveler, but all of the hotels and casinos I'm gonna mention in this video are also gonna benefit because they're going to get new players in their databases. And I'm gonna close this out with a bonus that's gonna help you get even more value when you use this in Vegas. Everything is accurate as of the day I went around and filmed all this, but keep in mind these are private companies and they can change their advertising anytime they want. So please be sure to double check when you get ready to come here for Vegas. Status matching is what we're talking about today, but it's also called tier matching. This is when you've earned a certain level of status at one casino property, and then you go to one of their competitors, and when you sign up for their card, what they will do is give you a status that's higher in their system that they think is the equivalent to what you earned somewhere else. And I'm gonna show you how to get all kinds of higher statuses at numerous casinos here in the Vegas Valley, and you won't have to gamble a single penny. In fact, you're actually gonna make some money. But understand, you can only use this at casinos once, so choose wisely. We're kicking this off here at Palace Station near the Strip. Now, what I'm about to do here, you can do at any of the station casino properties, but stations themselves don't status match. However, this is going to open a lot of doors and you're gonna see how this works. You actually start off here by applying for their credit card they have. They do pull from Experian when you do it, but this credit card is going to give you platinum status here, and this is gonna open all kinds of doors that you're gonna see later in this video. So we're starting here for a reason. This is where a lot of you are gonna start at a station property. Some of you may not need to, but you're gonna see the value in this as we go forward. Good news, everybody. I was approved for the credit card on site. So I put down that I have a $65,000 income, $1,500 a month rent at a place I've been living at for two years. They do ask for your employer and your mother's maiden name. So I was approved for $6,300. I have not applied for a personal credit card in a year and eight months or so, somewhere in that ballpark. I know of one other person who did this too, who put down a $50,000 income, $1,200 a month rent for one year, and that person was approved for $5,300 on the spot. So when you're approved on the spot, they just print out the card, you get it right there. If it's pending, you have to wait two to four weeks. One thing to keep in mind is they put 50,000 points on your account that you can use for $50 in free play, or this is not on the website, not on the brochure, not on the flyer anywhere. You can ask them for a voucher like this that they'll give you, and you can actually take the 50,000 points turn them into cash. You take it to the cashier's cage and they will give you 50 bucks in cash just for getting approved. And with this credit card, you also get another $50 in cash back after you spend $1,000 in the first three months of it being open. Now that's how you walk out of the casino, a winner. So remember, 50 bucks just for getting approved. I don't know the minimum credit score you need, but mine across all three bureaus is in the 700s. So if you have a higher credit score, that will help with getting approved. Now, we're gonna head over to Caesars, and that is when the magic really happens. To give you guys a better idea of the value that you get by doing this over at a station property, is that platinum card that you get from having the credit card and getting approved, to get that platinum card on your own, you would have to coin in $13,333 on slots, or you'd have to coin in $40,000 on video poker. But you just got that card, that status for free, and you got 50 bucks in your pocket. The whole reason that this situation works to your advantage as a gambler is because all of these casinos are private businesses. And these casinos that are competing with each other do not share their gambling databases with each other of their players. So no matter what status you have somewhere, what status you've earned at one property, if you go to a competitor, they have no idea how you had to earn that status. So if you take something from one property of certain level status, you go to somewhere else, for all they know, you had to coin in tens of thousands of dollars, or especially on video poker, sometimes over a hundred thousand dollars to get that status. But they're not gonna know that. All they're gonna see is that card and they match it. 
Now the truth is all you did was take the time to learn the advertising and the marketing promotions that these casinos themselves put in place for everyone to see, everyone has access to this information, but you just chose to learn it and use it to your advantage as best you could to get the most value from it. We're now here at Caesars Palace Hotel and Casino. You can do this status match at any Caesars property. It does not have to be Caesars Palace itself. But I'm gonna go over to the rewards counter and we're gonna take the platinum from station and going to match that to diamond. And once you get diamond, that's when all kinds of opportunity opens up at other casinos. Mission accomplished, guys. So here's what you do. You actually come over here with your station platinum card that you got for free and got 50 bucks in your pocket. And you come over here and you can status match it at Caesars to Diamond. One of the things that Caesars does really well is on their website, they make it super easy to see who they status match with and what level you need to have in order to get Diamond at Caesars. So that is very important that they make that very simple for you. One important thing though about status matching or tier matching over to Caesars is that they only do it for people if it's their first time signing up as a Caesars Rewards member. Now, if you already have a Caesars card like I did before I did this, there is one workaround and I wanna show you guys all the other properties we have to go through and it's gonna take me a moment to explain that. So I'll close it out with letting you guys know that you do have another option available. Even if you already have a card with Caesars, okay? You're not out of luck. Keep in mind with Caesars, if you status match in or tier match in as a new player with your status from another casino, you get to keep diamond status for a six month window. If you're not, and you do it the way I have to show you later in the video, you can get diamond status year after year after year. With Caesars right now, if you had to spend your own money to get this, you would have had to coin in $75,000 on slots to get diamond or $150,000 on video poker to get this diamond card. But the diamond is important because you don't have to pay resort fees. Not only do you not have to pay resort fees, you don't have to pay the 13.3% tax on the resort fee either when you stay at Caesars Properties. You do have a separate check-in at your hotel. Here at Caesars Palace, they have a separate one for diamond status. But after I got my diamond status, I noticed I had more comp offers come to me in my email. And also, if you have diamond, then you get free parking on top of that. So you can get this diamond status for free by simply doing this. One thing at the rewards counter that did happen too is they offered to have me sign up for their credit card that Caesars has. Now, one thing when it comes to the credit cards at any of these places, like Station, Caesars, MGM, you can sign up for those online if you'd like. If you get approved, they'll mail it to you just like any other credit card. But if it does come with some sort of uh, player's card level match that comes with it, you are gonna have to come in person to the casino to actually get that player's card and actually go ahead and start using that. But you can apply ahead of time online but however, if you are gonna come here anyway, I would encourage you, if you have a good, if you think you have a good chance of getting approved, I would encourage you to do it in person because at these properties, if you apply in person and you get approved, the person who signs you up at the desk, they do get a $5 bonus. So it's just like a nice, you know, thing for them if you sign up in person and you're confident you're gonna get approved and you do. They'll print it out for you right on the spot because the other thing about it with these cards where you can earn like, you know, tier credits and things like that, when you status match, you do get that status level on your account. It'll show you have that level, but it's not going to give you the tier credits you needed to get to that level. So my Caesars account does not have the amount of tier credits I need in order to have diamond. And fun fact, I got my diamond status here at Caesars with only 591 tier credits in my account. <laughs> not even close to what you would have to do in order to, gam to get that by gambling. I'm all done at the Unity Players Club here at Hard Rock. So here, I took my Caesars Diamond status and they were able to match me to a legend here at Hard Rock. This is their second card that they have from the entry level. Now with this card, they gave me $25 in food and beverage credit just for being a brand new signup. They also gave me another $50 in food and beverage credit for the tier match. Or you can actually take that $50 and turn it into 27 in free play if you would like. This tier match for Legend is good for six months. One of the biggest things this gets you, particularly for me as a local, is it gets you free parking. Which by the way, as a local, you get Legend status just for being a local here as well. 
As far as how much you would have to coin in on slots or video poker in order to achieve this status with Hard Rock, I'm not able to give you an exact number because they do not use the coin in method for determining someone's tier level. They instead use average daily theoretical, but nonetheless, this is a solid value for anyone who's going to be a new member with Unity at Hard Rock here in Las Vegas to enjoy some of these benefits. On Hard Rock's website, they do show that they offer matching and they do show which casinos they offer. It's only a handful, but they don't actually show you what level at those casinos match to what level here. So if you want to find that out, you might be able to get a hold of them on the phone, but you're probably going to have to come down here in person if you really want to find out. Here at Resorts World, they do offer status matching, but it's not on their website. Nowhere on their website can I find that it shows they offer status matching, but they do. Now, if you come here, their policy as of making this video is you have to be a first time sign up with the Players Club in order to be able to match anything. So if you're a first time sign up and say you have Diamond over at Caesars, they will match you here to Prime. So if you were to try to get Prime on your own, then it would cost you $25,000 coin in on slots and 87,500 coin in on video poker. If it's not your first time sign up, if you already have a card here, you can go ask a casino host and see if they will still match you anyway. It's possible, but really the biggest guarantee is if you're, you know, like Noir or Seven Star, 100% of the time they're gonna match you even if you already have a player's card here. Outside of that, it's gonna be a lot more hit or miss. So you can ask, but there's definitely no guarantee. And here at Resort Sword, if you are going to status match, I asked the reward staff here, and they said the match will last the length of the earning period. And here, their earning period goes from June 1st to May 31st. So if you can status match earlier in their earning period, you will have that status for longer. Success here at Sahara at the north end of the Strip, matching Caesars Diamond to Legend status. So Sahara, they have six levels here to their Players Rewards program. Legend is actually number four. So if you have MGM Gold, you can actually go one level higher than that. You'll be almost at the top. But nonetheless, Caesars Diamond will get you to Legend over here at Sahara. You do get some cool rewards with this. Um, the woman did tell me though that you don't get all of the rewards right away. So they do want to see some play from you. So certain rewards, like if you look on their um, chart of rewards that they give, like the first block, she said you'll get those right away, but some of the other ones, they do want to see you play. But she did say they don't have an exact amount, or you know, she's not aware of the exact amount you would have to. So here at Sahara, the website does not show that they status match, unfortunately. You would only have to find out by just doing the legwork. So the other thing you need to know, how much this saves you, if you were to try to get legend status on your own here at the Sahara, you would have to coin in $50,000 on slots or $100,000 on video poker. Other cool thing with this is that the woman told me the status match is good for six months, but I'm looking on the expiration date of my card and this does not expire actually for more like eight months. So the earning period here goes from April 1st to March 31st. So six months from now would not be in March, but the expiration on this says March 31st. So she had said six months, but if you get it early in the earning period, it might actually be the entire period. So nonetheless, easy peasy over here at Sahara to status match. And now we got another level. Here in downtown Las Vegas, there's only one option for status matching. And I just made it happen with Caesars Diamond transferring over to Club One. Club One is name of the rewards program for the D, Golden Gate, and Circa. So they only have three levels of cards here. So the uh, Diamond matched to Maverick, which is their middle level. So I got Maverick now. And it's the same rewards program for all three of these casinos because they have the same ownership. Now with the Maverick one, Big thing for me as a local getting that is I can now park for free at all three of these properties. One thing to keep in mind is that the website for Club One for all three of these casinos does not say that they status match. So again, you gotta find out just doing the groundwork to get this. 
So if you were to pay for this by yourself or with your play, you'd have to coin in $30,000 on slots or coin in $60,000 on video poker. So this, be able to status match, is a big value, and it's good for the whole earning period. Their earning period is the calendar year, January to the end of December. So if you get status match early in the year, you get it for the entire calendar year. At the end of this process, we can now total up all of the coin in that it would take based on the properties that use the coin in calculation. Now, if you were to spend your own money to do all of this, you would have to coin in a total of $193,333 on slots. And on video poker, you would have to coin in $437,000 $500 if you were to attain all of these different levels of tier status by using your own money. Now, if you guys already have a Caesars players card, there's still two ways you can actually do status matching. And I'm gonna give you guys a cheat sheet to help you with this. One is with a Wyndham credit card that they have an agreement with Caesars where you can get diamond status for having this card. It's a $95 annual fee, but you continue to match each year. The second way is with the Founders card, which is what I have. Now, I did this because one, I did not need another credit card, and two, even though it costs more, it offers a lot of other value for travel in addition to the status match. The normal cost of the Founders card is $5.95, but I use someone else's link to get a discount for $4.95. Everybody who gets a Founders card gets a link to share. I don't get any cash for it, but I do get points that I can redeem. For those of you on my email list, you already got the cheat sheet in your inbox to help guide you through this whole thing I talked about in the video, plus links to sign up for either one of those two cards in case you already have a Caesars Players card. If you guys want to get this guide to help you status match incredible value in Las Vegas, the link is down below to get it on the email list. You can sign Sign up for free. You get this guide in your inbox for free. I'm going to be sending a lot more value over there. Link is down below. Thanks for watching this video. Hope it was helpful. I'm Jacob, and this is my life in Vegas.